Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. We're right in the middle of a pandemic right now, so if you wanted to go to a museum at the moment, you'd be fresh out of luck. You'd just have to go outside, social distance, and make do with the tedious splendor of nature. But worry not, fellow old stuff enthusiasts, because technology is here to help. Some of the world's top museums have brought the experience to the web, so you can get that same anachronistic thrill far away from coughing mouths. And so, I present William's Top 5 Online Museum Experiences, starring me! Number 5. The British Museum the British Museum in London is widely regarded as one of the best in the world. Built in 1753, it is an embarrassment of historical riches. We're talking the Rosetta Stone, the Elgin Marbles, the statue of Ozymandias that inspired the Shelley poem, and that's just the first floor. It is an awe-inspiring treasure trove of beauty, historical relevance, and questionable artifact ownership. But for any museum fan, their online presence is an absolute delight. Their collection is digitized, allowing you to spend months going through the museum's literal millions of objects, some of them rendered in lovely 3D. You can wander through the museum in Street View, which just looks incredible in VR. There's a Museum of the World program that allows you to go through time with each dot representing a different object at the museum. When you click on each dot, you'll get a picture, a detailed description, and audio guides featuring calm British voices. This brooch is Irish and dates back to the late 6th or early 7th century AD. Yes, straight to my veins, calm British voices. They also have a monthly podcast, which is super charming. But the real highlight is the British Museum YouTube page. It's chock full of fun, bite-sized, internet-ready historical content, including a cooking show walking you through how to cook ancient recipes, curators talking you through the museum's highlights. I'm going to talk to you about my favourite artefacts in the museum, which are early Anglo-Saxon swords. And even a let's play of the world's oldest board game, the Royal Game of Ur. It's truly a blast to explore and comes with my highest recommendations. Number four, the Louvre. The Louvre in Paris was originally built in 1546 as a palace for French royalty. But after the French Revolution, when royalty was no longer in vogue, the building was opened up to the people as an art museum in 1793. When Napoleon came to power, he created an entire military division whose sole purpose was to fill the Louvre with the best art the world has to offer. Today, it's the most visited museum on the planet. During peak season, wait times to get into the Louvre average at two hours. But, using the power of the internet, you can skip the line. The Louvre has digitized museum highlights, and even has a high-resolution virtual tour of key galleries, allowing you to wander through the famous museum at will. For VR fans, the museum offers a free experience that allows you to step inside the museum's most famous inhabitant, the Mona Lisa. Due to crowds, most people only get seconds to appreciate the famous painting when visiting the museum, but the virtual experience takes you deep into the many layers of the Da Vinci masterpiece. Number 3. The Scream VR And while we're on the subject of using virtual reality to explore famous paintings, Edvard Munch's The Scream is about as famous as they come, and so matching it with VR was really a no-brainer. This free experience takes you into the dreamlike world of the Scream. It's frightening, interesting, anxiety-provoking, pretty much everything you'd want from the Scream. I don't want to spoil too much with this one, because the experience is really worth it. But if you have an Oculus or Vive headset and half an hour to spare, this is really one of the best short VR experiences around. An absolute must-download. Number 2. The Vatican Museum the royal families of Europe couldn't ever hope to compete with the decadence of the papacy. The Vatican Museum in Rome houses some 70,000 masterpieces, acquired or commissioned by the Catholic Church over the centuries, spanning from the best of ancient Rome to modern masters like Dali and Van Gogh. The website features high-res virtual tours of museum highlights, such as the Pius and Clementines Museum and the Raphael Rooms. But for the best experience, you'll have to hop on over to Steam and download El Divino, a fully three-dimensional tour of the museum's showstopper, the Sistine Chapel. 
Using the Unreal Engine, Il Divino renders out the chapel in all its glory, allowing you to see it the way only the Pope gets to, with no crowds. It allows you to get up close and personal with the works on the ceiling, with a virtual platform Michelangelo style. It's best appreciated on the Vive or Oculus, where the effect is stunning, it really makes you feel like you're there. But for those of you without the kit, worry not. There's a mouse and keyboard option that allows you to walk through using your computer monitor. The program features some 100 clickable elements where you can learn more about the chapel's history. Be sure to give this one a download. And number one, Google Arts and Culture. For sheer gobsmacking quality and quantity of museum content, nothing even comes close to Google Arts and Culture. Collections from over 2,000 museums are hosted here. The Met Museum in New York alone has over 200,000 artworks digitized on Google Arts. The website hosts virtual tours of some of the best historical sites and museums in the world. One moment you can be virtually walking through the Tokyo National, and the next, the Frida Kahlo Museum in Mexico City. From the Hermitage in St. Petersburg to the Doge's Palace in Venice. They have audio guides through famous paintings featuring even more calming voices. Evelyn the Morgan draws influences from Pre-Raphaelitism and Aestheticism. They have ultra-high def uploads so you can really see every detail of famous works. They have 3D rendered locations and artifacts and that is just on the website. If you download the app on your phone, you get even more features. This includes art transfer, which changes photos that you take into styles of famous artists. Art projector, which uses AR technology to show how large a painting would be on your wall and how it would look in your apartment. It's easy to spend hours falling down the rabbit hole of Google Arts and Culture. But as amazing as these virtual options are, they are no substitute for actually stepping into the building and experiencing the place for yourself. So let's all stay safe, take care of each other, and hopefully soon, we'll all be supporting our local museums again. Congratulations! You made it to the end! Welcome to the wrap party! Be sure to grab a snack and to like and subscribe to keep on top of all this very good content. I'm William Jordan, until next time.